Hi, Joan Marie Domino here from Decoupage Rocket Girls, and I have an unconventional item to decoupage on a rock, and this one comes with a yummy component. Okay, let's get started. You're going to need rocks, brushes, paint, white glue, and decoupage glue. You're gonna need a good weather-resistant sealant. And now for the yummy part, like I promised, I have tinfoil wrapped chocolates. They're very, very cute. Um, they're available around the holidays. You can get them at chocolate stores. Um, you can even buy them online. And this tinfoil will stick to a rock and I'm going to show you how. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is to find a rock that you want to paint. You can use any color that you want and give it a couple of coats like that. Put it aside to dry. Okay, so now, Onto the yummy part, we're going to take one of our candies, our little chocolates, and we're going to carefully unwrap it. I know you probably want to rip it open, but you want to be careful. Unwrap it and try not to rip it until it looks like this. Now, as you can see, it kind of has a bump there from the chocolate. So you just want to take it with your fingers and smooth out that bump. And again, you don't want to tear it until it looks like this. So it's still kind of wrinkly, but we can work on that. Um, this is a bone folder. It's used for paper crafting, or you can use this or something similar. And you just want to keep going like this till you get out as many wrinkles as you can. And it looks like this, okay? So it's pretty flat. So now you can decide how you want it to look on the rock. You can do a deco edge like I did here, or you can cut it out exactly like I did with these here. So I'm going to show you the deco part, and this is similar to what we did with napkins. Okay, so you wanna take your thumb and put it over the image. In this case, it's a bunny, and you're gonna to start to tear like this, and you wanna just follow your thumb. If you follow this thumb, you should be able to get all the way around it without tearing it until it looks like this. Okay, it's got a nice deco edge. Okay, so let's get it on the rock. Now you're gonna use the white glue. I'm using white glue because it's really sticky and this aluminum foil, it's very slippery. So you wanna have something that's definitely gonna hold it in place. So just put some on like that. Okay, take your aluminum foil, bunny, tin foil, tin foil, not aluminum foil, and press it down. And this glue is really sticky. Um, white glue is definitely gonna hold it there. Okay, so we just want to put that aside to dry. Okay, so while that's drying, um, I have already done a tinfoil tutorial and I knew I was going to do a video, so I wanted to expand upon it. So what I did is I started to use um, some of my paper punches on the tinfoil. Now, this is not like aluminum foil. Tinfoil is a lighter, more delicate um, foil. So I happen to have some um, I have a lot of wrappers, I ate a lot of chocolate, that I was able to punch to make these. I also got some from my local florist. They have this tin foil, so you can try going there if you want. And I'm going to show you how you can punch it. You're gonna need a piece of paper, and then you just line up your foil to the edge. You're gonna turn your punch upside down, and you're going to tuck it in like that, so you can kind of see where the bunny is in this case. And then you're just gonna punch down like that. And there you go. There's a little bunny-faced flower. Okay, now having said that, this was a good punch to use for doing the foil. This guy has too much detail, and if you try doing the foil with this, um, it's gonna get stuck inside there. So you wanna stay with something that's a little bit more simple. Um, this one was a little bit more detailed, but it did work better because it doesn't have those inside parts. And I put some gems on this, and on this one, I did some pearls, and I used a lot of nice gloss sealant, so it looked really good. And I was lucky to find some tin foil that had these really pretty flowers in it. Okay, let's go back to our rock. Now is the time, um, before we put our top layer of Mod Podge decoupage glue on, you can add some paint detail. Um, here I did some flowers, I did some dots, some leaves, whatever you wanna do, now is the time to do it. And then you just wanna wait for that to dry. Now we put our last layer of glue on. 
I'm using the decoupage glue instead of the white glue because I found the white glue left a little bit of the haze on top of the, um, the tin foil, so we don't want that. Okay, now we can put that aside okay, to dry as well. So once these are all dry, now you're going to do your final step, which is your sealant, all right? I used a really good clear sealant. It's weather resistant. I used three coats because I really liked how the tin foil looked. It was very shiny and glossy, almost gave it like a three-dimensional look. So I was really happy how these came out. And I tell you, it was one of my favorite videos because we got to eat chocolate. Well, the camera guy will get chocolate at some point. So this made it really, really fun. So I hope you save some of your tinfoil wrappers and give it a try. Um, if you want to see more of my videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Joan Marie Domino. Visit our Decoupage Rocket Girl page, and we also have a group page, and thank you for watching my video.